What's up guys, it's Apex on and welcome back to more Mass Effect Andro Andromeda. I'm not sure still if I'm going to make this a full series. I might just do a couple more parts or something like that because it's not getting crazy views or anything. Uh, quite low on the spectrum. But uh, we'll do uh, a long part here and maybe another long part. And we'll see where we go from there. We'll see how it's going after that. But drop a like if you do want to see more. We'll jump in and continue this mission here. A better beginning. Alright, there we go. So we're going over here, I think. Uh, to an establish an outpost, but I, I think we were over here before. Woo! Sick jump, bro. But we're gonna establish an outpost over here this time. Down there, I'm assuming, is where we're establishing it. They appear to be fighting a Krogan. Is that... Oh, it's Drac. What a legend. Drac, what up, dude? Drac's just fucking him up, bro. Love that black cannon, it's so sick. Rider, about time you join the party. What up, Drax? How you doing, bud? I love Drax. He's so cool. Are they dropping in more? Oh fuck, they're dropping in behind us. Eat that fucking flat cannon, boys. Okay. These guys are fucking a lot of health. We're good, we're good. Everybody stay calm. That guy's dead. Drax is gonna be joining the party now, I hope. That would be awesome. Seems we just saved your ass. We saved your ass, Drax. Come on. Oh, God, there's still more of them. I was there thinking we were done. Not to be. Damn it, I missed him. He's dead. He's dead. You've got to be done, son. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good shit. Drax is impressed. Drax, sorry. That fight was... fun. You're telling me? <laughs> you could really handle yourself, kid. And I hear you're the one to thank for clearing up the sky. Had your number all wrong. You're not so bad yourself, old man. Maybe we should work together after all. This fight was pretty good, but you're still Nexus and green as a drill. Still, something tells me you've got potential. Be ashamed to waste that. I'm in. <laughs> Just point me to your ship and try to keep up. <laughs> oh, baby. This is gonna be great. Damn straight it is. Right, is this where we're setting up the outpost? The first colonists sent audio logs about these regions back to the Nexus. And? Fairwinds Basin. Lowest radiation count in the area. A little bit of hope. It is calmer. Notice that? Right, let's set it up. New outpost. This is where we'll build our new outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. With current supplies, you could build a military outpost focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. Okay. What do you think? Military outpost or scientific? Pathfinder's call, but research is no good if we're dead. Military. It's got to be science. Our colonists need to understand their home. Be advised that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. Uh... I don't know. What should we go with? Scientific or military? I think I'll go with the military. Cora makes a good point. There's no point in researching if we're dead, so... A military outpost. We defend our own against the Ket. Or anyone else. Orders prepped. Ready on Fuck it. Alright. I don't know. That could be a bad decision, but we'll see. We'll see where we go from here. I, I couldn't really decide, but Cora, You know... Over Liam. I don't know. Whatever. We'll take her advice. 
Because we're trying to get in their pants. We heading back to the ship. Andromeda Initiative. This is Ryder. Pathfinder. EOS is ready for deployment. Copy that. Outpost blocked inbound. And ready as hell. Hell yes. August Bradley, operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. I feel like I should toss you the keys. Be nice. It's been through a lot. Understood. Prodromos. That's what we're calling her. They're eager. I haven't seen eager for months. Prodromos. Okay. Eos is far from golden. But now it's defensible. Arguing that choice will come later. They think you did the impossible. The Nexus. I warned them. Hoping was... Irresponsible. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. I appreciate your candor. We're all on the same side. I wouldn't go that far. She's a bitch, this one. I don't know why I shook her hand. I should have said, what's your game, bitch? I don't like her. The reality, Ryder? You brought us time. But one outpost on a long-shot planet won't stop us from starving. You already have a lead on something else? Her, uh, her animations are the and worst. From the vault. Now it gets complicated. Like the worst. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts, to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed, but after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware, that's all. I don't care why anyone helps, so long as they do. I've heard that before. Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then. Tans waiting on the Nexus. Fuck off, bitch. I don't like you. You're a bitch. On hold. Wait for Carrie's next interview. So oh, yeah. No, I'm switching to the next main mission. Duh. We're still on. Speak with Tan at the Nexus Pathfinder. Okay. Sounds good. Radiation levels have spiked, Pathfinder. Oh, there it is right there. Oh no, this is the Tempest, not the Nexus. What the fuck just happened? Did we just die? Are you that pathetic, Ryder? You died from that? Right. Let's get out of here. We in, boys. Depart the planet? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ascent is go. Before the meeting gets started, I have bunk assignments for PB and Drac. Already put my rucksack in the kitchen. I'll hang out there if that's okay. And I'm in one of the escape pods. More my speed. That's fantastic. Welcome aboard. Any thoughts, Ryder? Whatever, it's cool. Look, if I just say whatever, it's cool. I mean... My jacket. I'm just gonna look like such a badass. We're adventurers. Whatever makes the squad comfortable is okay with me. Let's talk about our success on EOS. Besides establishing our first viable outpost, we did some amazing things. We discovered the remnant and breached their vault. And didn't get killed. Overcame radiation poisoning a number of times. And didn't die. Confronted by Ket at every turn. Once again, did not get killed. <laughs> you guys really need to raise the bar on what you call success. <laughs> yeah, should we use the Krogan definition of success that got your homeworld nuked by your own people? <laughs> Fair enough. Let's focus. Back to the task at hand. Looking forward. Exactly. Here's my only question. When do we hit that next vault? It looked active. We have to get on that. Hang on, hang on. We need to not go off half-cocked. There are initiative priorities. The team calls the shots. Actually, the Pathfinder calls the shots, just to be clear. 
So what do you need from us, Ryder? Let's be kind and give each other the benefit of the doubt. Finding a home for tens of thousands in this hellscape is stressful enough without adding dysfunction. You got it, boss. Tora is not happy at all. If Krogan are known for one thing, it's getting along. <laughs> but not humility or self-awareness. Okay, let's head back to the next. <laughs> PB, Drax, see Lexi for a physical. Good meeting, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Alright, let's go and talk to a few people here. Augmentations are rare materials that can be added to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go talk to Lexi Tipero here. What's good, Lexi? How you doing? So we have a stowaway. You mean PB? She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. <laughs> How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. How do you think the human crew members are handling things? There's a lot of them. How's Cora doing? She's processing. Your father was her mentor. She expected to follow in his footsteps, but he gave the role of Pathfinder to you. Just because she trusts his judgment doesn't mean she's not confused or hurt. Gil? Gil likes to use humor as a defensive technique. He'd rather bury himself in the Nomad than tackle emotions head on. Suvi okay? She's remarkably adaptive. I'm kind of jealous. How's Liam? A handful. Every time I patch him up, he breaks something new. <laughs> Liam's we can't lose attitude is commendable. But I worry how he'll react when something does go wrong. I'd like to check in on the non human crew. Ask away. Is PB all right? Just want to check on everyone. Me. Probably thinks I'll poke her with a needle if she gets too close. To be fair, you're always giving me shots. Not in the hallway. <laughs> Tell me about Vetra. Vetra's used to having someone depend on her. I think that's why she's so resourceful and likes providing for other people. That being said, I think she could use a little me. It's good time. to get to know everything about the crew here. Is Drac good? That old bastard's always good. I've never met anyone who can be so stubborn and so appreciative. <laughs> Could you look out for him, Ryder? Don't worry, Lexi. I'll keep an eye on him. Thank you. And maybe don't mention I am. Oh, she has a thing for Drac, eh? How's our Solaria? God damn it, I was He's trying to I was trying to get in with her. Tight lipped about himself though. And thanks for the insight. And she likes feckin' How did you get into medicine? Drac, come on. My mom was a dancer on Omega. Dad was a bouncer. I'd patch him up after busy nights. Discovered I had steady hands. They put every credit they earned into my education. Are they here in Helios? No. Both died in a turf war. Made leaving the Milky Way behind easier. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. I like the way she says that. Okay, let's see if Cora's good. Report from the Nexus. Population's growing as people wake up. Lots of hopefuls waiting for a home. Bradley will have all the help he can take. They'll be starting crops soon. Can't tell if they have enough water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids. But I always loved them. I daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. So there's a heart soft as rose petals under that uniform. I got plenty under here, pal. Does the big bad Pathfinder have a soft spot too? I might. For certain Ooh, someone's. Ooh, it's getting close. Good to know. We've all got our something. I didn't for a while. After I left the Asari Commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. 
Being a huntress suited me fine, but she insisted. It sounds like she cared more about what you needed than about what you wanted. I didn't need to be rejected. Still, that's familiar. When your biotics are honed into huntress-grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling to Andromeda like he was teaching you how to see it. He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder? Didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. I get that. We've all had a lot of disappointments lately. You're doing well. For having no training, being your second isn't so bad. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. <laughs> Spicy. Definitely we're getting somewhere with Korra though, for sure. Ryder? How's the search for the Asari Ark going? The Lucinia? Checking every comm that's coming in. Nothing concrete yet. Alright. See you later, We Cora. can't do anything more with I'll her yet. Let's go see if uh, we can find PB. She said she was going to be in one of the escape pods. But, um, I don't even know where they are, honestly. Like, I literally have no idea where the escape pods are. But... We shall probably look down here. We'll have a look. Who's down here? Oh, hey, Pathfinder. Oh, Vetra. <gasps> the Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Let me guess. Little sister? Who are you calling little? Look, kiddo. Gotta go. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... <laughs> So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation. I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. I know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. We need people with skills, and it sounds like you've got many. Welcome aboard. Yep, making deals to get the things you want, shooting at the things you don't. That's me. We all have a personal stake in this. If it keeps going the way it's been, we're all dead. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later. Sounds good. See you later, Vetra. Alright, where's PB though? Because I heard her, but I just don't know where she is. Where the hell are those escape pods at? Oh, it's Drac. Don't give the Pathfinder too much trouble. Oh, Rushan. Who are you talking to? Kesh, Nexus superintendent. Thinks she can boss me around just because she's my granddaughter. <laughs> well, welcome to the Tempest. Trouble's what we do. Ah, I like the way you think, kid. Hmm. Someone somewhere shivered when I said that. Probably Tan. Damn politicians. Is that all you brought? You travel lean when supplies are tight and you're on your own. Your people had to know what it'd be like when you left the Nexus. We did, but there weren't a lot of options. After the mutiny happened, it was either buckle under Tan's rules or start our own colony. Easy choice. Bad consequences all around. Your people come first. Keeping Cash and our colony safe will always be my top priority. That's why I'm happy to tag along, help make this galaxy a little more hospitable. Can't argue with that. Alright. Sounds good, Drackey boy. 
Okay, PB is just nowhere to be seen, guys. Oh, maybe she's in one of these. Those remnant vaults, all those secrets. I have to go explode into one someday. Imagine flying through one. Now that would be a real hazard course. Well, you're setting up here's PB. Huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice out of the way place where I can tinker and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Does your brain ever take a breath? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, not really. Even my dreams are in time lapse. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana to simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, Ryder. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. Tackling complete strangers in the Milky Way wasn't doing it for you? I think tackling you anywhere would be fun. <gasps> Did I say that out loud? <laughs> Life won't be boring with you around. I may never yawn again. Maybe you just needed more sleep? We were out for 600 years. A special someone made the trip with me and she woke up a different person. I've slept enough. Ryder, the Milky Way was so... Been there, done that. Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Yes! I'm number one! <laughs> She's such an idiot. Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. Then again... I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned, which you're gonna love, by She's the way. She's so flirty, Jesus. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. Let's see if she has anything else to say real quick. You again. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? You mentioned you came to Andromeda with someone? Nothing gets by you. Guess that's why you're the Pathfinder. Just a friend. Now she's not even that. It's better to venture into the unknown without restraints or entanglements, don't you think? I don't know. Don't friends and loved ones make all the effort worthwhile? I've always been self-motivated. Don't need much more than curiosity to drive me forward. Okay, we'll leave her to it. You're off the hook, PB. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. Well, I won't be. PB or Cora. I wonder can you do both? That'd be great. Both. Let's do both. For sure. Both. Okay, now it's time to head to the Nexus and talk to Tan, I believe. Pathfinder, is it true? We're settling Eos. We've thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. Alright, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros' aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. They've got a Pathfinder again. This is what we do. And you've done it splendidly. Professor Herrick, right? What you achieve with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. With more military personnel out of stasis, those Ket won't get near your vault. Or our people. We've taken some hard knocks, but this proves we'll always get up again. Always. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. Boom, shakalaka. Okay, who are we going to talk to now? Speak with Tan. Yep, that's what I thought. Goddamn Tan. Do we have any skills? Oh, we do. We have four skill points. Um, okay, I think we'll go for a biotic passive here, this one. So confirm that skill point. Combat-wise. We'll go with another assault rifle. That costs three points. And then we'll do it, leave it there for now. And we'll go talk to Tan. Let's do it. Come on, Tan, where you at, bud? Our, our leather jacket's kind of pissing me off. 
It's halalala. All right, where are we going? The operations. That's what I'm talking about. Operations time. The remnant vault. Though not much yet is known about the underground structure, it's believed to be remnant and horrible. Yeah. Go to the starry scientist, Pelisaria Basail. What we activated in the vault drastically improved the atmosphere on Eos. This is Agent S. It was all down to me, baby. I'm the man. Rider, rider, rider. Oh, we have talked to Tan before, haven't we? This is where we talked to Professor Herrick in here, actually. Is Tan gonna be in here this time? Oh no, maybe this isn't where we talk to Professor here. Never mind. Good to see you. Hello, Director Tan is expecting you. Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Yeah, it was. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the commons area ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey Ryder, Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. Let's hold off on the celebration. We haven't found home yet. Oh, there's no need for modesty. Success affords leverage over those who doubted you. And you're my best friend? A patron. One who shares your vision of a prosperous future. I suppose we agree on that much. I knew that given a chance, your talents would emerge. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. It wouldn't have been possible without my crew. They're a talented bunch. But you're their beacon. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. Tan's a jerk off. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. Then I look forward to winning our Pathfinder's support. Though I worry about your decision on Eos, Ryder. A military outpost won't help feed the Nexus, not the way scientists might have. But it will protect us from a growing list of threats. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. Hmm. <laughs> I wasn't really asking for it. Of course. I support that kind of enthusiasm. <laughs> right. This guy's a douchebag, dude. <laughs> oh, we've leveled up. Ryder, this is completed Harry, a better beginning. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your sister, sort of. Drop by when you can. Hyperion Medbay. We'll do. Wait a second, what? Trail of hope, go to the... After establishing a new outpost... Okay. Speak with Addison on Nexa. Who the hell... Is the one that said we could talk to our sister right now? Pathfinder, we are to contact Director Addison as soon as possible. Right. She had something that could help with our job. Where's our sister? No, where's our sister at though? Because they said we have a chance to talk to her. Alright, let's just go up and talk to Addison then. See what she has to say first. You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. 
My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. I'll do the exploring. Don't you have someone else to track the numbers? Get off your perch. This is where numbers become lives. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more security, like you chose at Prodromos? That's your call. Brecca will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. Speak with... Oh, Addison's assistant. Brecker? What's up, Brecker? Vladimir. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Brecker, C-63 Galactic. What's up, dude? Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. Whoa, that seems like... <laughs> too much. Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and the Nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? All right, Brecca. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. Spend AVG AVP points to gain perks, okay. Um, science pods, military pods, commerce pods, okay. Let's go for science as soon as we, um... As soon as we went the fucking military route first. Okay. Alright, let's go find that medical bay, cause... What's this? That's nothing. I think we might have to take the tram there, cause I wanna see if we can talk to our sister. Someone said we could. It didn't come up as a side quest or anything though, did it? So here? Oh, optional! Visit your sibling in Hyperion's cryo bay. Okay. Cryo bay, I see. Let's do that then. Okay, let's go to Cryoban and see if we can see our sister. Is she actually going to be alive before the end of the game? I hope so. Maybe she can go join our crew. That would be cool. Somehow I got the feeling, seeing as you could choose to play as the brother or the sister, that neither of them are going to be alive for the entire game. At the very end, maybe they'll wake up or something. We'll see. Okay, here's the Cryobay. I remember it now. Dr. Carlyle, what's up? Harry, what's happening with Sarah? Well, we got her out of the pod. I don't want to get your hopes up, but Sam managed to, uh, find her, you might say. I don't follow. Well, she's still in a coma, but she also has an implant like yours, and Sam managed to access it. He's made contact. That's incredible. She's okay. Vitals are steady. But I'm letting Sam take the lead on this one. No in a coma. Sarah's mental processes remain intact. So, is she okay? You can ask her yourself. A moment while I establish a link with her implant. Proceed. Sarah? Can you hear me? Scott? Is that you? What's happening? Where am I? That's fucked up. There was a problem with your stasis pod. You're in a coma on the Hyperion. Do you understand? Uh, I think so. Am I dreaming? Sam linked into your implant, but they say you're stable. You're safe and sound in the med bay. This is so weird. I hear you, but I can't feel anything. Where's Dad? Is he doing okay? Uh... I think I'll have to be honest. I don't know how to say this, but he's dead, Sarah. What? It was a freak accident. But it's dad. He can't die. He... I know. It's been hard on everyone. I didn't get to say goodbye. No one did. What about financial? 
coming home. Dad kept telling me how beautiful it would be. Just wait till you see it. It's amazing. Even better than the hype. At least that's something. We'll get our hopes up at least for when she wakes up. be there with you. Well, you were never one to quit, Sarah. A little nap won't hold you back. Right. At least Mom and Dad are back together. Somewhere. We will be too. Right here. I hope so. I... What happened? The connection was only temporary. Her condition remained stable. Sorry, it seemed better than nothing. I'll keep you posted, promise. Thanks, Harry. Alright. That's pretty cool, though, that we got to at least talk to her and shit like that. I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, we're still searching for memories uh, with Father there, but I'm not going to do that right now. We'll go back to the priority apps and a trail of hope. Go to the... I don't even know how to say that. What is it? O Onean system? Onean system, I'm guessing? Onean system, I think it is. I think that's what it says. Uh, back to the docking bay. And that's where we'll end the park, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this... Uh, part of Mass Effect but give you a nice chunky long part for part number nine and we'll do a part 10 as well if this one does well and uh, we'll see we'll take it uh, bit by bit from there hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys for more Mass Effect Andromeda very very soon thank you for coming and I'll see you guys later peace